Okay, so this whole thing has been a mess. I'm going to be honest with you. It's been a mess. I'm trying to get as much info that I can on this. And shout out to Rachella for, you know, keeping me keeping me in, you know, in the loop. Bro, it is a lot. You know what I'm saying? It it is it is a lot. And I I'm I'm saying this because like I want to react to internet nathan's video because the way he piece pieces it together is like i guess it makes sense in my brain and i feel like i could talk about it in depth more than like reading just the transcripts and everything and figure everything out it's a lot of trans it's a lot of information man i'm i'm just telling you um and also i'm, I'm speaking on this subject because like in the beginning I think I was like in the beginning, like I think I was on Mihijin's side when it comes when it ter- in terms of like her coming in and having the creative direction for New Jeans because I gravitated towards the the eeriness, the like the kind of it just it just felt like the way New Jeans came in was so different. It was just like they just they just released, they dropped, and the ball was just rolling. And like they got this mat, and they got all these, these all these sponsorships, and everything. It's like, I'm, I'm, I was, I was, I was astounded. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I was astounded, even though I did hear, even though I did hear people talking like talking bad about me, he Jin. You know what I'm saying? And like, I guess in terms of just straight creative direction, and because New Jeans, I love New Jeans so much. You know what I'm saying? And like their musicality, the sound. And everything, I was on Mihijin's side in terms of creative direction. Like I remember the ETA thing, I was like, mm, I don't really think, honestly, depending on how the video went, I I don't really, I don't, I didn't really think it was that much of a bad thing. However, I could understand, and it kind of does make sense if she used that ETA thing as a way to to like incorporate it into that comeback you know what i'm saying and i was learning about et and all this stuff at the same time so it's like here like i just kind of want to talk about it you know get more information have it all you know packaged in a good way you know what i'm saying so this is part one this is from internet's nathan shout out to nathan this is um the absolutely sloppy fight over new jeans. Hive versus Adore Explained. This is part one, just so you know. Okay, it's going to be part two because there's a lot of information that could be hearsay. And it's just like, it's a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much it's just like from what I've gathered from the transcripts for real or just what I've gathered from, I guess, my thoughts about the situation. It seems like she's very angry that she wasn't given what she was told she was given. You know what I'm saying? And then... The um with the new jeans being, I guess, pushed to the side before the seraphim and just all this stuff, and now illit. You know what I'm saying? And then here comes the shaman and her trying to trying to end BTS with the military. Like it's dog. It is a lot. You know what I'm saying? And the spreading information, like it's 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 a lot. Honestly, I don't give a fuck who side you're on i'm on the side of i'm gonna keep it a stack with you i'm i like hype okay y'all know i love bts honestly at the beginning like with all this shit what my mind goes to is i'm on the side of bts you know what i'm saying and i know hype like within the last two years hype has gotten massive as fuck and They've made a couple moves that I do not agree with. A good amount of moves that I do not agree with. Am I surprised that maybe that Hype maybe um did business shit? You know what I'm saying? Like they I'm sure they've done business stuff. Like no, I don't think any company is absolved of doing business stuff. You know? Like cuz we know BTS built Hype pretty much. And like BTS built high, but that doesn't mean BTS is 
the sole reason why high be making these moves if that makes sense bts says trust them so we gonna trust them that's that's what i'm that's what i'm that's what i'm getting you know what i'm saying and as like everything is like unfolding it's just it's just it's a lot i'm gonna be honest with you and so right now my mind is a little jumbled so hopefully as we watch this video we can you know we can just just get a good timeline of what happened. Because I'm going to be honest with you, when New Jeans dropped, it was so freaking random. And I was like, I like this. And I honestly think, I honestly think what reeled me in was um, Ditto. Ditto definitely reeled me in. Because it was so freaking creepy. Like, I just loved it. But that's besides the point. Y'all know I love New Jeans. Y'all know I love BTS. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm not really a hype stan. Like, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a label stan. I just like the groups on the label. But I would like to go on this with an open mind, even though I have a lot of I have a lot of information in my head. And I'm like, bro, if if Min Hee Jin was really trying to do a freaking takeover, then it's like, obviously, you're about to be clipped. You know what I'm saying? And then the text messages, it's like, cuz it's a lot. But that's besides the point. One thing I want to let y'all know. Be respectful in the comments. Don't go too crazy. Like, if, if anything, like, whoever side you're on, please just explain it in a way where it's like, okay, this is my opinion. This is how I feel. da da da, da And just leave it at that. Don't start attacking people for their opinions. Please. Like, please. 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 Please don't. Can we just keep this respectful and, and just have a conversation? Let's just say that. Because I, I know it's going to go wild, but I don't want it to go too wild, if that makes sense. So, without further ado, let's start from the beginning. Let's go. Conflict between parent company Hype and the CEO of its subsidiary Adore, which manages girl group New Jeans. It's uh -huh. looking to become quite ugly amid accusations of a takeover and rampant plagiarism. And of course, of course, there's a lot of, and of course, there's a lot of one-sided things that might come from it. Like it would be this person's side against this person's side, this person's word against this person's word, which makes sense. In terms of, in all honesty, in terms of like people versus companies, I do like to side with people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and say like I'm not going to hear her out. But if like if it's proof that she was doing some crazy shit like this, like spreading information, leaking false information, which I honestly think was true. I'm keeping a stack with you. I'm sure that happened. I'm gonna be honest. Then, bro, what the fuck? Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't. But at the same time, I want to hear why do you why 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 is this why did you think that was a good idea? If that makes sense. I would like to hear why you did this bullshit. Pretty much. That's what that's pretty much it, you know. Cuz it's not good leaking personal information, bro. That's not P at all. Wow. I mean, wow. This drama is probably the And then and then bubble dropped. And I'm just like, "Wait. Wait a second. And then arms dropping right person wrong time. Like, uh, the timing, the timing, the timing. Biggest drama of the year. And I'm going to explain everything we know about the story behind who really is Min Hee Jin, the CEO of Ador Entertainment. Why is she taking on the K-pop industry <clears throat> giant that is Hive? to fight over control of new jeans. How the popular rookie's Alit <clears throat> was the start of all this drama, mm. apparently. And did Hype just find documents planning the takeover of new jeans? Is this all really true or is it media play? As Min Hee Jin I is feel saying, like everything. this is the work of Hype. But let's start from the beginning on what is happening is at Hive right? and the fight over new jeans. Let's go. All right, so the main character of this whole thing is Min Hee Jin. Some mm -hmm. of you may already know she is the creative director of New Jeans and the CEO of Ador, mm -hmm. which is a sub-label under Hive. But how does she get into this position and why does she believe that she has the right to fully control new jeans. Min Hee Jin started her career in K-pop over at SM Entertainment. Of course. Way back in 2002. Mm -hmm. Damn, we're talking dinosaur ages. First time <laughs> K-pop group SES was about to disband and the only artist SM Entertainment had was Poa, 
who just debuted. Min Hee Jin was hired to be a graphic designer mm -hmm. at the company. Okay. That's right, she was the graphic design is my passion girl at SM Entertainment. But slowly over time, she would rise up the SM hierarchy to be a creative director at the company. Makes a sense. position okay. responsible for the vision, look, and marketing of a group for each debut and comeback. And, that and to be honest, bro, a creative director has hella power. Like, I can see why she might think like she should have all the shits when it comes to new jeans in itself. But like my business brain or whatever the hell that I have uh, in terms of business, I'm trying to use it, like make it as simple as possible. It's like, yes, but your, your boss is still like hype. It sucks. It really sucks. But if we're like keeping it P like, bro. You, yes, you can make these demands. And honestly, if you feel like you should make these demands, make these damn demands, bro. And then you'll see how you'll see how the company views you. You will. Like, if you feel like you you deserve the right to have this group, you're the creative director of this group, you are the reason why this happened. What you're under, the, the company that you're under, honestly, can just kick you to the curb. And that seems like what's about to happen. But the company that you're under has say all be all. You are honestly, respectfully, you are like a vessel that brings in the success of this company. Like you are the success of this group. You are the success of this subsidiary. But in the in the, in the grand scheme of things, you are you are like helping the success of this company because when when you hear about like say like when I hear about new jeans, of course. A door is in there, but when I hear about new jeans, I think hype. Like just off the bat. So let's keep it a stack there. Like when you think of new jeans, of course, some of y'all will probably think A door, me, Min Hee Jin, but in like a vacuum, I guess like the casual person would probably think like they, they come from hype. You know what I'm saying? Imagine a K pop group is like chocolate milk. Min Hee Jin's job was to create the branding, the label, and the design and commercial to get you to buy that chocolate milk. And that's important. That's important. Branding, marketing, design is important. Chocolate milk's already good, but... I don't like this shit. She made it better. One of her first chances to show what she got came years later, helping out on production for TVXQ. Hey. And from that moment on, she would work on some of the most iconic and best work SM Entertainment has ever put out. We're talking Girls' Generation G, mm. Super Junior's Mr. Simple, Shiny's Sherlock, mm. FX Electric Shock, mm. and the one-of-a-kind Pink album, which is still praised for its design of an album. Mm. And she would work on Red Velvet's Ice Cream Cake, NCT 127's Cherry Bomb, and I could literally go on for another 20 minutes. She has a we vision. We cannot deny her talent in creating these yeah. masterpieces and her hand in molding what I call the golden era of SM Entertainment. Mm. But interestingly enough, her career did have a few controversies. All right. These are blank. There's nothing on this. I'm going to be honest with you. Nathan, you, you, you inspire me to have a nice office and a setup for stuff like this. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I'm really trying to upgrade some shit. I'm, hey, Nathan, you, you got it, bro. You got it. No glazing, though. But you got it. You got it. <laughs> what are we doing here? Specifically, Red Velvet's ice cream cake era. Uh huh. This was when Yeti was added to the lineup and she was only 16 years old. So there was a little bit of questioning about the styling and Lolita concept and inspiration she drew to make the era ice cream cake. I hate that Min word, Jin would receive that same questioning and concern when New Jeans debuted, but at a much, much larger scale. Mm. But still, more time at SM saw her rise even <clears throat> higher within the company to the SM board of directors. But at that impressive position, she would struggle to adjust. Even mm. revealing she cried with Isu Man, the founder of SM Entertainment, over her frustrations. So after just a year in that role, she stepped down and even left the company. From 2009 to 2019 at SM Entertainment, Min Hee Jin would make a name for herself. Mm -hmm. And the work she did spoke for itself as well. And what did it say? It said that she was the concept mastermind of K-pop with more to give and Hybe heard that loud and clear as they gave her a major role at the company immediately. Mm -hmm. As chief brand officer, Min Hee Jin was responsible for Hybe's rebranding from Big Hair Entertainment to the industry behemoth it became oh, Hybe Labels. Really? As Hybe was in the process of expanding faster than someone at an all-you-can-eat buffet. How'd this get in here? <laughs> There's no batteries. 
Hybe would buy out Source Music, Pledis Entertainment, and KOZ Entertainment. Not only were they buying out K-pop labels, they were busy forming their own, like Be Live Lab, no. Home 2, and Hypen. Oof. And another sub-label, Ador. This is where Min Hee Jin would be able to do what she does best. Develop a look and vision for a group, but not just any group, a new group. A new group called New Jeans. I'm gonna be honest with you, the way the way this came about, like Ador, it just felt like it felt very like young and fresh and very refreshing. Just like the way the design is, like how the Ador design is, how the New Jeans bunny looks, how the new like the different designs of the New Jeans logo. And it's like it to me. <clears throat> To me, I'm I'm gonna be like to me. I think Min Hee Jin, like as I think of Min Hee, like the person Min Hee Jin, I think like she's someone who has a vision, but it's like different. And with that vision and with that thought process comes the type of person that would that would think like she's the shit. That would think like what she thinks like she's probably like the outsider that. The outsider that like <clears throat> goes against the company because like she'll do some shit for a company. Like she'll show she'll show her ass. She'll show her ass, do her work, and then boom, people come in, they want her, and then that person comes out, like that confident person comes out and it's like, bro, this is I'm the reason why this is this. Like I'm the reason why this is this. I'm frustrated. I'm like she's she's an artist, Kang. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Graphic designers, creative directors are artists as well. And when it comes to people like that, and when it comes to artists like that, they don't have much. They don't have, in my opinion, I feel like they don't have much. Uh, they, they don't have a really good time. Like, it's not really a good time in one space, let alone a corporate space, let alone a space where there's rules, things that you can or can't do, the industry politics, the corporate politics, like they're not fucking with that. Like that's what that's what that's what I think of Min Hee Jin. And that type that type of shit will bite you in the ass. It will. Cause it always does. It always does. Which is one of the reasons why I'm like usually I'm on the side of the artist when it comes to a company. However, like the 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 spreading information leaking information of stuff like that it's like it's it's it makes me like no I'm not with that because with the leaking leaking of information comes where she brought in like the BTS stuff and I'm like bro I'm not with that like of course I'll be on the side of the creator but if it like attacks if it if it like goes at the person that niggas are trying to protect or like we're trying to like we feel a certain type of way if they're done wrong you know you know people like you know army feels the type of way if bts is done wrong you know this we're not gonna act like we don't the way i feel about a, a that will trump that it will trump that and i want to be honest it will trump that so it's like i'm i'm gonna keep it a stack if bts wasn't involved I might have been on Min Hee Jin's side. If she just kept it to, if she honestly just kept it to, bro, y'all promised me this. Y'all, y'all stepped on my shit to bring out your group. I'm not with that. Y'all promised me that, like, we, we, this was supposed to be this. You took this from me, or I say you took this from me. I'm not with that. But it's just all this other extra shit that just adds to the thing for me that we're like, no, no. I hope that makes sense. I, I, know what you like, boy. I do not need to be the one to tell you that New Jeans went on a Cinderella story run in Hell 2022. Yeah. It was probably Min Hee Jin's biggest accomplishment of her long career. And what made New Jeans hit harder than your mom's sandals <clears throat> was the plan that she developed for New Jeans. And that plan was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. That's right. They did just fuck it. Nothing. There were no teasers, no pre-debut promotion. They just dropped the debut. And I think that was the key. K-pop fans didn't know anything about New Jeans before debut. They had no idea who they were and that they were from Ador, or they were even associated with high labels. Attention and hype boy caught everyone off guard. They just spawned. The yeah. And they literally started a trend in K-pop that is going strong to this day. The Y2K concept. If you disagree with me, 
point to another K-pop group that was doing that similar concept at the same time and made it a trend that groups are still trying to do to this day. I'll wait. Just kidding, I won't, because I'm right. Now the uh, question I ask you is, who is more responsible for the surprise success of New Jeans? I would say it's more of Min Hee Jin than it is Hives. But now- Honestly, I would agree. Because I, creative direction is, honestly, creative direction and marketing is so important. It's so important. I say Min Hee Jin is the reason why New Jeans was put in, in that type of like, the, it's the reason why New Jeans was like seen as the way as they were, as the way that they are. Cause you know, branding is everything. Branding is everything, PR is everything, all that stuff. If, if Min Hee Jin is the person behind that, she's responsible, her and her team. You know what I'm saying? Hybe is just, they just, honestly, I believe Hybe just gives, Hybe, let's say, may have had certain type of like say in things because that's where the money comes from hype supplies the money min he jin the direction so it's like without the direction you ain't finna have shit without the money you're not about to have the the vast opportunities with this direction however without the direction you ain't gonna have shit so it's like i'm more on the side of direction now we're up to the news and the breaking Me, story in my of epic proportions that I'm like, yo, this is, I'm, I'll, it just gets I nuts. I had to put on a suit and tie for this, all right? It was initially reported that Min Hee Jin was looking to make a move to acquire majority shares in Ador and basically have management control over New Jeans and their profit. Those reports went on to say that Min Hee Jin hired experts to help them find a way to make Ador and New Jeans become independent from Hybe. The mm -hmm. reports continued to say that Min Hee Jin and other owners of Ador leaked information about Hybe, like investments in Hybe artist information, including New Jeans, in order to create a bad public image of Hybe and damage their reputation. And no, that's fucked up. Like, that's fucked. On top of that, New Jeans and the members' families allegedly got involved as Min Hee Jin supposedly talk with them and got their support to make this move leveraging mm. her relationship with new jeans but here is the big thing the ownership breakdown of ador is 18 percent owned by min Hee jin mm -hmm. and two percent owned by other individuals mm -hmm. and a staggering 80 percent is owned by hybe okay so 80 20 or 80 18 split that's fucked god damn at the end of the day, I'm still looking at Hybe as a company. They go on company, bro. That, God damn. What well, you should be asking right but now 18 is, is, why would Min Hee Jin and the other owners even try to do something so impossible like this? To take something from Hybe. Min Hee Jin believes that this is due to her complaining to Hybe about a month ago. Min Hee Jin mm. has stated multiple times and stood on business saying that Alit has copied new jeans. Not mm. just in one thing, but all areas of entertainment activities from hair, makeup, costuming, choreography, photos, videos, event appearances, basically everything. She that uh, I wouldn't say everything. Of course there's similarities, but I would not say everything. I honestly wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say everything. And said, I lit copying new jeans is not something that b -Live Lab did themselves but Hybe was related to it as well. Hybe, who claims to be the leader of K-pop, was blinded by profits, and they are copying successful culture contents without any hesitation at all. Ador has never allowed anyone to copy New Jeans results. She successful culture contents. What do you mean by culture content? The Y2K culture? Like, what do you, like, honestly, what do you mean by that? Like, what, what do you mean by that? See, now, I don't want to go into that whole little, you know, how the K-pop comes from this. Like, I don't feel like doing that right now. Like, what does, what do you mean by that? She went on to say, after Alit's teaser photos were released, there has been an explosive reaction online that people thought it was New Jeans. There has been reviews that Alit is Min Hee Jin's style, Min Hee Jin's type, and New Jeans style, etc. This can't be something that they're not embarrassed of. All right, girl, we hear you. It's, it's hey, similarities. Like, okay, it is similarities. Well, I'm scared for you. <laughs> Basically saying that the similarities between Alit and New Jeans is kind of messing with New Jeans' flow and their upcoming promotions as they're going to have a comeback in mid-May. But taking a look at it, 
she does have a point. Eh. Just when I thought I was done with this video, Hybe audited and claimed laptops and computers yeah, that's from nuts. Ador and found. You've well, been. They found some documents. Like, bro, like if you son, like I feel like she just shot herself in the freaking foot doing all that. I, I honestly think she just shot herself in the foot doing this. Like, if you ain't do all that wild ass shit, then it would have been what it was like. <clears throat> Possibly. And honestly, what I'm thinking is like, you know how sometimes. So when it comes to like creativity and like higher ups, what I think is like and I do. And one thing that I do, I do encourage is like a creator to speak out against a company. But just know if you speak out against this company. You're messing up the relationship with this company and the company can literally say like, bro, we can make you like we can we can make another one of you like you ain't shit like that's what that's what companies do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know the deep entails after we till we get into these documents and stuff like that. And <clears throat> obviously I listen to some of y'all comments and then I do more research as well and just look at more just all just look at more as time goes by until we get to part two. A company's gonna company, and it's so wild because I don't like when companies take creative vision and IP. I don't like that. I really don't. But the way you went about it, the way the way things came out, no, <laughs> um, mm -mm, mm -mm. documents that had writing on it, not like this. While Min Hee Jin denied looking for some sort of way to take over, that doesn't mean that others in Ador wasn't trying themselves. Mm. Hybe apparently found documents of a two scenario plan for this takeover. Multiple Korean news outlets report that Hybe found documents that was titled Keep Us Untouchable from Hybe and Final Escape. Not even joking. The fuck? You would think that they would label these documents, I don't know, like boring documents that you should probably not read to waste your time or like taxes 2019 you know like instead of plan to escape hives clutches <laughs> however Bruh. ador's vice president was an ex hive employee and while he was still at hive he had access to hive's personal documents and downloaded a large amount of data and here were the plans the first plan was to have foreign investors buy out Hive's 80% of Ador, and I guess buy it back eventually. The second plan, and probably the most devious one, was to use this confidential information they had on Hive in order to force them to sell that 80% through blackmail. Blackmail gets you nowhere, gang. Black blackmail gets you nowhere. Nowhere. Mm -mm. And a third kind of backup plan was to have New Jeans force a termination of their contract and then they would have a move over to a separate company that they established. The problem with that one is that they would have to pay back that 80% to Hive eventually. Mm. And then guess what? They couldn't use the New Jeans name because that's copyrighted by exactly. Hive. However, the latest is the vice president spoke on these documents mm. and he said that it was a personal diary. And in fact, personal thoughts he did not share with anyone else at Ador. If this all turns out to be true, we might have just witnessed probably the best K-drama to ever been created. And this is real life. Now this does seem very damning to Min Hee Jin and everyone at Ador, and even New Jeans. But why are a lot of Korean netizens skeptical about these reports? They seem that it is too convenient to have Hybe find all this information and that it's just media play. And just when I thought it was done with the video again for the second time, Min Hee Jin announced a surprise press conference. Be honest with you, like I said, the company is going to company. The company is going to company. If you try to speak out against a company, they have ways to make you like they have ways to like just make you look crazy. 
they have ways to make you look crazy. Like, of course, like, of course, it's convenient that they found it. You better hope this shit not true, gang. On the 25th. <clears throat> on Thursday afternoon, Ador CEO Min Hee Jin held an emergency press conference to deny the allegations, saying that she had no intention of seizing control. It wasn't much of a press conference, I'll tell you that. At the beginning, she started off saying, could you please chill with the cameras? I'm not a celebrity. It's a little overwhelming. And well, her emotional change from the beginning of the press conference to the end, uh, it was a roller coaster. <laughs> Some of the main points she talked about was her addressing the HYBE audit of the ADOR laptops and the conversation she had with HYBE's current CEO, Pak Ji Won about having new genes separated from HYBE. Her explanation for these conversations and these plans, including the vice president of ADOR's thoughts, as he said, was just conversations between HYBE employees casually and maybe not to be taken seriously. However, Min Hee Jin would go on the offensive and mm. say things like this. I feel like I've received more PR from HYBE than they've done for other artists. It made me think, huh, they were capable of doing this much PR. This is how I wanted her to come into the press conference like. I'm standing on business. I'm standing on business. Oh my God. I'm standing on business. Uh. <laughs> you standing on business. <laughs> and she then continued to stand on business and stand on her point that Alit did indeed copy new jeans. She also mentioned she is looking forward to the report Hybe will file to the police. My girl is not. Oh my God. <laughs> She kept apologizing for cursing during a lot of the press conference. And it was hilarious to see the press's reaction and, well, her lawyer's reaction. It makes sense, bro. Like, bro, she's a creative. Like, I'm keep like, everything about this just revolves around, bro, she's a creative person. <clears throat> she's someone who just, it's just, I don't know. I could, I could, I could, I could, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be honest, if I tried to get my shit back or do a quote unquote takeover and I got caught in my shit and they're using lies that can fuck me up that could possibly be lies and it also could be things that I've done me know me knowing that I try to blackmail get personal documents and do all this stuff I will be just like that too I would be just like that too I'm going to be honest with you. I would be a wreck like this. Speaking of which, he kept trying to stop her or at least clarify some things she said. But girl was out here speaking the truth. <laughs> I don't think you can stop that. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> like I like like we can't just be like we can't really just sit here like yeah bro like dude like yes she did wrong she did wrong but y'all just can't be looking at like y'all honestly don't think like I don't honestly think that y'all can like you shouldn't be looking at her like she's fucking nuts you know because it's like it's already in there it's already in her like that's just her i don't like i don't like people looking at someone like they're crazy you know what i'm saying i don't like to do that unless they're doing like physical harm to people and all that other stuff but like in terms of that and i don't really know how i'm gonna sound for real i know the comments are gonna tell me like how i sound or just how it's coming off then i can clear that up but like from right here, right now, it seems like she just thought she was going to get some shit done and it was a good idea. And the hype said, no, no, no. And that's probably where we're at. That's where we're at. That is where we're at. <laughs> Mm. She also revealed cacao talk messages between her and Pang Shi Hak about Espa, asking her, we can step on Espa. And even this, you know, little cute conversation they had, I, I think Pang Shi Hak had a little bit of a crush on Min Hee Jin asking her for a drink, which she didn't show her response to it, but I imagine she uh, just ignored him. Bro. And probably the most interesting thing to come out of this whole press conference, the sweater she was wearing 
was sold out yeah, the next day. That's nice. In every single size. Mm. Really, again, doesn't have much to the story, but I thought it was hilarious. But again, she did talk about new jeans in a bit of a personal manner as well. Hani contacted her and Hedin contacted her personally how they think Min Hee Jin is struggling right now. But out of that three hour press conference, um, that's basically the gist of it. So what will happen to new jeans then? The clear thing is, obviously it would be dumb for Min Hee Jin to try to take over a company that another major company owns 80% of. And of course it's, to me, Mr. Nathan, I think it's dumb to do that. But I do think it is brave because she, I, she really feels like this is her IP, dog. This is her IP. You know how like some people would be like, <clears throat> how some people would be like, bro, credit me. You know, they'd be like, don't steal my shit. Like, I can understand how someone could be so frustrated and actually feel like their shit's being taken from them. And, and that's where it goes in terms of like art. It's like, there's inspired plagiarism, stolen from, copied, sampled. It's all these things. And honestly, it can come down to feeling. And that's that's where it's like, it's a case-by-case -case basis to whoever's looking at the information and how they feel and how they, how they resonate with the parties involved. Um, and I'm saying is this like, yo, like, she really feels like this was stolen from her. She really feels like she was lied to. She went about this the wrong way. From the information that was provided, and I'm going with the information that's provided, leaking documents is no. Personal information is no. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to private texts, I don't like exposing private texts because it will muddy waters and it will make you see it, it will make you it will make people it will just add more fire to the flame because it's like this is private this is people should have the ability to speak in private you know what i'm saying and of course the way these texts will go it's going to make me think about you in a certain way you know that's just that's what it is and being a part of the k-pop industry for as long as she has she's not gonna make those dumb choices she said it herself and she's never always know, been an employee, an employee at SM Entertainment, and now an employee at Hive. Ador wasn't created by her. So as of right now, this is all just speculation and reports without any solid evidence and proof, even though they do have like some screenshots of the title of those documents. But then again, media play and all that, you know. Uh, we, we, we just don't know. I'm just reporting the news, guys, all right? Mm. Even if they don't find anything or they do, this all has consequences. Yeah. And consequences that probably new jeans will get hit with. Exactly. Hardest. What I expect to happen is Hybe is going to force Min Hee out of her position, given that the owners and the shareholders and board of directors uh, Given that the owners, shareholders, and board of directors come to a majority decision mm -hmm. to kick her out of her position. Yeah. I would then have full creative control over new jeans, and that is what I am scared of the most. That's what I think is going to happen. Sorry, Nathan. New jeans will lose the soul. Yeah. New jeans will lose what made them special yeah. in the first place. Thinking about it, sure, Hybe invested the money. Nothing would be possible without that. Let's be real. But Min Hee Jin was the whole brains behind New Jeans every step of the way. Yeah. From planning every single little detail to being there on the set of music video shoots, making sure everything goes smoothly. A leading visionary in K pop that a lot of others in the industry respected, even Hybe. But that mm. is all I have for today. Okay. Who do you think's in the <clears throat> wrong here? Are they both wrong? Which side are you on? And more importantly, what do you think is going to happen in New Jeans? Before you even start to think about answering that question, this story just took a turn for the, 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 the just plain weird. Including conspiracy, cults, witchcraft. We just thought this was just a, a, a business thing, but now? And well, I gotta make a part two. Yeah. Honestly, I... 
I plan on being here for part two, but like off this first thing, I <clears throat> from stuff that's gonna be said in part two, that's where my I'm not gonna say my bias, that's where my opinion and my side stands on BTS, in all honesty. And this is why and that's one of the reasons why I'm like, bro, Min Hee Jin, you're crazy. And I apologize for using that word. Like, me, me and Jen, you're tripping. You're actually tripping. But if we ta- if we put that aside and just put what we heard in part one and just all this stuff, I honestly feel like Min Hee Jin is the soul. Like, what she did for New Jeans is the soul. But high provided the opportunity. And what I think is gonna go for like what's gonna happen in the future is exactly what Nathan said. They're gonna they're gonna more than likely force her out. If they keep her in there, the 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 vibes are gonna be it, the vibes are gonna be bad. They're not going to. I I don't feel like they're going to. If they do, then I'll say I'm wrong. But because when it comes to stuff like this, like there's only there's literally only one way out. Is you're out. Like you, you like you may be out with whatever shares you were deserved, or whatever this is happening. But if you go up against a company like this, regardless, you're out. So it's like it's like damn, they gonna lose that. And I feel like Minnie Jen is probably gonna do some creative shit somewhere else, and it's gonna be good. But it's not gonna be it. It's gonna be good in terms of creativity. But, like, that stain on her name is still stained. And it's like she's n- probably not going to have the backing of someone as big as Hybe. So it's like... <sighs> but all that other extra shit... Mm-mm. Like, all that other extra shit, hell no. I don't fuck with that. But, like I said before, please be respectful in the comments. And... And just let me know what y'all think. And be respectful to Nathan, too. You know? Just say your opinion. Don't be crazy. If you really support Min Hee Jin in this... I don't know what to tell you. And for the people that probably say I was on her side, it's like, I'm not really on her side, per se. I'm on the side of a create... Like, the, the sole topic of a creative feeling like their shit is stolen. Or like a creative goes to a company and the company starts companying and the creative is like, bro, you you told me you were gonna do this. You said we have this. Like, you know, like if you say like you said we were gonna you were gonna do this for me, and the company be like, Did you get it in writing? Like that shit right there, I don't like. To to who it's being done to, eh, that's that's up in the air. But that topic right there is what I'm resonating with. And this is a lot, you know? Mm. And it's also because, like, I feel like Min Hee Jin has a very, like, a, a connection with the girls in New Jeans. Like, as they said in here, like, um, some of the members were showing their support. Like, this isn't just, like, like she's close with them, you know? And it's like it's crazy. I don't. Ugh. What what I see is about to happen in the future. I. It's not really looking too good, in my opinion. <clears throat> but then again, like I said before, that's what happens when you try to go for stuff like that. That's what happens. Not saying it's right. That's what happens. Fuck. 